Watch is a face that tells the time. No? A watch is a flower? A watch is a face with two hands. No? The news is a watch is anything you like it to be. The watch has hit the fashion scene in a big way. The man who started it off, who said watches should be big and fun and fashion, and is now making a fortune out of the idea, is Richard Loftus. At 24, he's already a big business tycoon. In the company boardroom, Margaret Busby tried to find out from him the secret of success. Well, I suppose I used the same formula which has been used for many, many years by people that wanted to start their own business. I did everything myself to start with. When it came to the organizing of production, to start with I was doing things myself. I even came down to the stage of strapping and packing the watches simply because I had to understand the problems that were going to be involved in doing this job. I think one of the things that I found necessary, and perhaps this is necessary in all businesses, that it was necessary for me, A, to be able to do everything, and B, to have actually done it, so that I was able to tell other people how to do it as the business got larger. I see. So you think this is the key to running a successful business rather than having some capital or... Um, I think the capital and the backing was important and obviously it would be impossible to, to have started the business without some financial resources. But I don't think these were uh, the most important single factor because nowadays there's no shortage of capital for good ideas and there's lots of places where you can go and obtain capital if you have a good idea. The problem is having a good idea and being prepared to work hard enough to m making sure that the idea succeeds. And I, however good an idea, there's no substitute for hard work. You've got an economics degree from Cambridge. Did this help you in any way in the business world? I suppose uh, it's difficult to see any exact, any particular uh, instances where I used some of my academic training, the way in which I approached business. Uh, this perhaps this way of thinking is bred in taking an economics uh, course, but I couldn't say to you that uh, on, one, on a particular day I spent the morning thinking as an economist in deciding how to produce an item or how, how mm. to promote an item. What exactly would you dis um, define a fashion watch as? I think a fashion watch is simply a, a low-cost watch which uh, girls are going to buy not just because they're going to tell the time, but also because they're going to look very attractive and they're going to complement whatever clothes she's wearing. Do you think it matters that um, one can't actually tell the time all that Oh, easily? I don't think well, you can tell the time with these. My goodness, let's have a look at the watch you're wearing. Well... <laughs> uh, that's a, a little watch. It's it is. It's difficult to tell the time on that. In fact, I'm sure without having a very close glance, you couldn't even tell the time. I'm all to within 15 minutes on this. Well, on so some hand. of your watches don't even have figures there, do yes, they? Yes, but I mean, it doesn't take very... What does that say? Mm, it's it's ten past eight. Ten I mean, it's not the time eight. now, but this is the time <laughs> on the watch. Yeah. No, I, I don't agree with you. I think if you've got a large face, it's not too difficult to recognize the position of the hands and to, and to tell the time. How do you get your ideas? Do you wait for inspiration? I think I actually I get them in the bath, it sounds like <laughs> funny, but uh, I seem to do most of my creative thinking in the bath. The only place where I'm ever nice and cosy and quiet. Richard, do you have any ambitions, any new ideas that are going to revolutionise the watch industry even further? We're going to manufacture a watch for the beach. No one's ever thought of mm. manufacturing a watch, especially for the beach. Mm. We're making a watch which uh, is going to be, the movement is going to be sealed ultrasonically is by using sound waves we're going to seal a movement in a piece of plastic and it's then going to be completely plastic, clear plastic watch which you can wear on the beach. The strap will just stick together by using uh, a system of, of uh, invisible hooks and eyelets 
And this will be a watch that you'll wear in the water, you'll mm -hmm. wear as a sports watch, and it'll be a very fun watch, which will go anywhere, it'll be shock proof, it'll be water resistant, and you can wear it in the sunshine. Thank you very much, Richard.